Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is kind of late-ish. We're coming up on 9 o'clock p.m., and I'm out on for walkies. Out on for walkies. That is not good English. Anyway, though, I am standing. There is Alder, where they are tearing up the sidewalks on all the way up the street. And this is the library. Well, why am I pointing out the library? Because in the library up here, is the only trail that leads from downtown to Northern Shelton. Because the two roads, the highway up that way, and then the other road down that way, the other two roads that lead up to Northern Shelton from downtown are under construction. So for foot, you have to go, well, into the area that you can't drive to anymore, the library. You have to walk into this place. You can't drive in anymore. It's a nice library. It's a tiny little thing, but it's a nice library. I couldn't record the other day. My social anxieties were pretty bad. I'm hoping that there's nobody upstairs, upstairs, up the hill. But when you get up here, if it's your first time, you may wonder, where exactly is this path? I have my flashlight. And it's a good flashlight. So I'm going to be lighting up the area. There's this sharp path. But it's really sharp. But if you look, there's kind of a slow slope. That if you look over this way, oh, this mass of dirt here is actually a trail much more gentle than the other heavy-duty path. Hopefully there's no spider webs I'll be walking through. And then, now, of course, there's somebody who put their... Oh, must be a mosquito there. Somebody left their pants. How nice. But there's that sharper path right there and hopefully it's stated there's nobody else up here you see people and erosion have made like there's a path that people walk and water flows but here's the actual path keep it clean please Oops. Oop. Be careful getting my head tickled by branches and leaves and spiders. So you can head on down that way. Kind of a sharp path and I'd hate to fall. And again, for some reason right here, people walk alongside the path, but not on the path, which is right here. And of course, an erosion slash walkway. Oh. And uh, touch my, scratch my head where the branch had me. Okay. Head further up this way. It's a heck of a step right here, to be honest. There. And yeah. That's another path that I guess it's a people path, maybe mostly an animal path, but it looks like it's tore up enough that people walk on it. But as we continue our path up here, it's a nice trail. I mean, for what it is, there's the erosion slash shortcut. Here's the big, 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 big erosion tear through so that's bad and going to get worse as the years go by. Oopsie, come on into focus. Hello, there we are. I guess this was done by like the volunteer force or volunteer workforce. You know, here's an actual bench. It's nasty and awful, but it's a bench, which is nice. It's cool. 
the pathway we just walked up. Okay. The thing about this path, too, is it's just... I mean, it's a nice path, but then all of a sudden it just gets really weird up here. I'll show you. Whew. I'm all out of breath. It's a heck of a hill. Erosion pathway. And, of course, erosion pathway. Well, that one's less erosion and more just people's feet. And then impromptu trail continuation. Possibly, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like a trail down there, so cool. And then up here we come. Now the thing about this trail is that Kiana keeps going back around that way and but then you come through here. And as you can see, it's just a, a tiny little hole in this bit of fence. And when you come down this road, it looks just like somebody's driveway. Which it kind of is. It's a driveway for this. Because <laughs> here's the gate for that. In that little tiny hole that when you walk down this road, which I, like I said, I walked to DSHS and then back and I had to take this path and such and I took a lot of the road up there and then came back. All places and towns look so much different at night. And that's a good thing. I spent a large portion of my life nocturnal, literally. From my first job, when I was a dishwasher at various restaurants, but I was a dishwasher and I worked graveyard shift. That's a heck of a path down there. This, this is another path where you gain at least 150 feet, just like Ravenna Trail. Except in one straight shot, this one zigzags. But, I have spent most of my life being nocturnal. I gotta say, my first job when I was around 14, 15, something like that, 16, whatever, when I got a job as a dishwasher in a restaurant, I worked night shift, graveyard. And from then on, until I went to the Air Force, every job that I had until then, I worked graveyard. Then in the Air Force, I was, of course, by requirement, diurnal, because except for the very, very few jobs that work nighttime, most jobs in the services are nine to five, especially support, like I worked in finance, so I worked in support in the financial department. So we just worked, well, we got there at like 9, 8.30 until 5. So most places you don't work the full thing. Sometimes we had the nighttime things where we would do exercises and then I would be nighttime. Come on, focus. After I got out of the Air Force and I had to get a job, I worked nights. And every place I worked, until I got my final job as a nurse's aide, I worked nights. Graveyard shift. Whoa. Yeah, don't want to fall. This is still one heck of a slope. And if I fall, I'm going to hurt myself or break the camera. So, that's fun. I don't want to do either. But I spent my time being nocturnal. And then I got married and crashed and burned. Well, I crashed and burned with my alcoholism. And then I got started working morning shift and evening shift because the people that I went back to, they, they were, it was heavy duty and intense. And finally the one person got what they wanted when she got me fired. So, but I worked daytime there until I got working at the nursing home where my wife worked. And then I was working evening shift there. Now that was just 3 o'clock until 11 o'clock at night. So I, I worked evenings but not nights. 
But then when I hurt my back so badly, I went on disability. And of course, my depression took a big nosedive at that point. But when I went on disability, from that point, I was daytime. And I've, I spent my entire 12 year marriage with my wife struggling, struggling because all day I would drag, just drag. And then the sun would go down and I would be energized. So it was rough. This last year, like eight months, 10 months ago, I do not know what happened. <coughs> but something inside of me flicked and I am no longer nocturnal. I am dying. And it's a big change. I'm not really used to it yet. So that's, that's a lot of fun. I just thought I'd mention that for no real reason at all. Oh boy. Well, this is a loud section of road and there's that library that I just came around. I'm going to turn the camera off and if I get someplace else that's interesting, then I will turn it back on and start recording again. But I just had to go walkies because my legs are just aching again. And so, thank you very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration up through the trail. I hope that you enjoyed. Itchy ear. Any trail in any city by night is fascinating and I like going out for walkies with the camera, a good camera. Here's what looks like stairs, but isn't. Come on, focus. I don't know why it's having so much trouble focusing. There we are, see? Might have been stairs at one point. Well, you take care. Thank you very much. I will see you all on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing.